couple days ago we arrived in Germany after a 17 hour bus ride that turned more into a 21 hour bus ride from Poland. Good morning. Oh. How are you feeling? Please let it stop. <laughs> and over the next three weeks we will be exploring the different regions around Germany. Now for this video we thought that Instead of trying to make a different video for each and every place that we visit, we thought we'd try showing you more of the highlights and the best of the places that we do visit. We've got quite a few cool things planned for our time here and we're just so excited to start this next leg of our journey. We are Sarah and Marek. In October 2020, we left our home country of South Africa and set out to see the world using budget travel strategies to make our travels last as long as possible. From working on a traditional winery in Georgia, to a sailboat in Turkey, to attempting to hitchhike over 1,800 kilometers in four days, our budget travels have by no means been boring or uneventful. We can't wait to see what's next. So our first stop for this tour is in a town called, honestly, we don't know how to pronounce these names, but we're gonna try anyway, is in a town called Sigmaringen. And the main attraction is the Sigmaringen Castle. <laughs> Towering on a cliff over the city of Sigmaringen stands the Sigmaringen Castle, also referred to as Hohenzollern Palace. It was first mentioned in 1077 and has somewhat of a strange tradition. Every year on the four Sundays leading up to Christmas, Christmas trees are hung upside down in the castle. Who knew? It also boasts of being the second largest castle in Germany, with a whopping 420 rooms and miles upon miles of corridors. Back in the day, anybody who was anybody was at this castle. It is most certainly the pride and joy of this quaint little town. So that was the town of Sigmaringen and its fairy tale castle, which is so stunning. I mean, just look at that. We even got ourselves a pretty common German drink called a Radler. <laughs> On to the next. <laughs> exploring a little town called Meersburg yeah. and behind me here is Lake Constance, the third largest lake in Central Europe. Lake Constance is also the trial point between Germany, Switzerland and Austria. We've been wandering around on land and now it's time to change things up. On top of the lake, the town itself is also really cool. Honestly, Meersburg is amazing. We definitely want to try and come back here one day. Can't wait to see where we're off to next. So today we're exploring castles, and more specifically, castles built 
by this man right here. This is King Ludwig II and he was the king of Bavaria. Now the first castle we're going to be going to is the one he built for his parents called Hohenschwangau. <laughs> How's that? I don't know. <laughs> go on, let's go. castle and the main attraction out of the two. Let us know if it reminds you of anything. Neuschwanstein, King Ludwig II's personal castle. So there's a bit of a strange or controversial story around King Ludwig II and the story goes that he was spending a lot of money to build all these different castles and there were some people that were not very happy about this. So they made it seem like he was mentally unstable, they had him sent to this rehabilitation center and as the story unfolds he was later found in a lake dead. Now, they tried to make it seem like it was a suicide, but a lot of people at that time and still today think that it was actually an assassination. But we're getting into some conspiracy theories now. That's just how the story goes, and I guess we'll never really know. It was so enjoyable to visit this place, and it's completely free to walk around and enjoy the beautiful castles. And unless you want to take horse carriages or a bus, you will be walking around a lot but it's all worth it when you appreciate these beautiful castles. But just make sure that you stick to the 3G rule here in Germany if you do want to go in anywhere, which means that you either need to be vaccinated, you need to have recovered, or you need to present a negative test result. That's the only way you can actually get into any of these castles. But our next leg of our journey takes us to the highest mountain in Germany. Let us know in the comments down below if you know what that is. <laughs> That's where we need to get to the top of. You ready? <laughs> You don't really think we'd walk all the way to the top, did you? <laughs> Yeah. 
We are now standing at the highest point in Germany. Crazy! Time to jump onto a cable car and head down to the other side of the mountain. to go back up and over the mountain to get back to the car. We didn't really get you a second time, did we? Honestly, it is pretty expensive for a ticket, but if you spend the whole day there like we did, you definitely do get your money's worth. And just for interest sake, just in front of us is something called the Eibseer, and it is beautiful. But as always, we'll see you at our next spot. So it turns out that that is actually our last stop for the trip, but I mean, it can't really get much better than that. We're literally standing at the top of Germany. We want to say a huge thank you to our very special friends Maya and Cheryl for taking us around and showing us all these beautiful places in Germany and spoiling us and hosting us. It really really means so much to us. So thank you so much for joining us. In the next video we have a bit of a treat. We are going on a German food tour Ooh. in Munich. <laughs> so make sure you stick around for that one to come and we'll see you back next time. Oh, wait, I'm hurt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's going a little bit crazy there, sorry. <laughs> Didn't actually look, look quite the way I wanted it to. <laughs> I'm shaky and weak and I'm ready to go down now. <laughs>